What if I told you that this painting depicts a man looking at his dead wife? Painted by Jan van Eyck in the 15th century and known as the Arnolfini portrait, this painting has famously puzzled art historians for years. Just by looking at this painting, you can tell that something significant is happening. The couple are shown holding hands and standing in a bedroom, which at the time was the room in which he would receive guests. With the help of early documents, the couple have been identified as Giovanni di Nicolao Arnolfini, an Italian merchant working in Bruges, and his wife Costanza Trenta. Their wealth is clearly displayed by the couple's expensive fur-lined clothes and the rich interior furnishings of the bedroom, like this carpet. The couple faces us, with Giovanni's hand raised in greeting, and they are surrounded with intriguing symbolism. The dog between them could be seen as a symbol of loyalty and fidelity, and the oranges on the windowsill could be another symbol of their wealth. Both figures have their shoes off, which hints that there is a sacred event taking place. On the wall behind them, an inscription reads, Johannes van Eyck was here. Below, a small mirror reflects the painted scene and reveals an extra two figures entering through the door of the room. The leading figure in blue has been read as a depiction of the artist himself as he paints. The second figure could be a materialization of us, the viewer, thus involving us in the action. The fact that the artist has embedded both himself and us into the scene has led art historian Ponofsky to argue that this painting is depicting a wedding with witnesses confirming the event. Margaret Carroll has suggested something similar, arguing that the painting depicts a couple already married and acts more of a visual legal document. While these theories are perfectly plausible, they still leave us with a lot of unanswered questions. Why is there only one lit candle on the chandelier? Why are the figures wearing their finest winter wear, when fruit blossoming on a tree outside suggests that it is in fact warm? And why do the figures, and in particular Giovanni, look somber, sad and almost angry? Another theory, proposed by Margaret Coster, provides a solution that is enlightening, but eerie. Looking at Costanza, we cannot help but notice the prominent bulge of her belly. She is pregnant. Her protective gesture and the wooden sculpture behind her depicting St. Margaret, the patron saint of pregnant women, confirms this. At the time, pregnancy was more of a risk than it is today. And in fact, not long ago, a letter written by Costanza's mother was discovered in a Florentine archive. In the letter, written in 1433, the year before the painting's execution, Costanza's mother writes that Costanza had died from childbirth. So Coster suggests that the painting is in fact a memorial painting depicting a posthumous portrait of Costanza who had already died in childbirth. Notice that the single burning candle is placed above Giovanni's head, whereas an extinguished candle, as evidenced by the small quantity of wax, is placed above Costanza's head. If you look closer, you'll notice that the mirror roundels on Giovanni's side of the painting portray passion scenes of Christ's life, whereas those on Costanza's side are all to do with Christ's death and resurrection. The dog is a symbol of their eternal fidelity, and the presence of the artist and the viewer bear witness to the couple's everlasting love, thereby helping to immortalize.